Welcome back. It will be a party in Mercer Village here soon as the Mercer men's, men's basketball team punched their ticket into the Southern Conference Championship game. Mercer University has shut down the village to give fans a chance to see their team on the big screen this afternoon. They will put the game on that big screen. There you see behind me on the stage, Mercer is in their first Southern Conference Championship game ever. And they took down VMI 73-59 on Sunday. Mercer joined the Southern Conference in 2014 after leaving the Atlantic Sun Conference and the Bears will face North Carolina Greensboro, the number one seed in the entire tournament tonight at 7 p.m. A win will send them to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2014 when they beat Duke in the second round. I'm, I'm happy for our guys to be in this situation. They worked hard. It's been an up and down year for a lot of people. Um, so for us to come together towards this end, it's a it's great to see, you know, the hard work and the, and the sacrifices they've been through this year uh, paying off a little bit. Now Mercer is asking that fans that come, want to come watch the game tonight, they wear their masks, social distancing will be required. Now, let's not forget the women's team who are not new to this. They are true to this. They won their third Southern Conference championship in four years on Sunday as well. The Bears took down Walford in a 60 to 38 win that saw them go on a 28 to nothing run. And they had two quarters where they only held Wofford to six points in each quarter. It was the fifth time Mercer had been in the women's championship game in the last six years. They earned a ticket to San Antonio where they will dance in the NCAA women's tournament. It will be their first trip since 2019. It's been a long year, but yet it, March showed up really quickly. And I'm just so happy for this team that we get to keep practicing together and playing together. Now the women's team will find out who they play in the NCAA tournament on March 15th during the selection show on ESPN. The last time they were in the tournament was in 2019 where they took on the number two seed all the way down to the wire. That was Iowa. They lost 66 to 61. So maybe some new luck for the Bears in making. Avery Braxton, 13 WMAZ Sports.